dawn of creation, the gods arrived on Earth. Now we shall know their awful legacy and how it affects mankind. I gotta get a grip on myself. What happened? Why couldn't I change? <gasps> well, we can relax since no one's following us, eh, Show? Have I even lost my transformation ability? It's about time. I've been starving for hours. Show, come on. Come on, buddy. Hurry up. Hurry up before I eat everything. He will, Show. You know my brother. Hmm. <clears throat> You're right. Both of you. Come on. <laughs> Mr. Murakami, some coffee? Thank you. <laughs> Man, I'm hungry, and it's all mine. <laughs> oh, wow, would you look at this setup? Show, sure, come yeah, on, sit down, and we can't eat. Without food, you can't think straight. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm, everything looks real good, yeah. I was sure we would all starve. Since I was in a hurry, I'm sure I didn't bring enough. Well, this should at least take the edge off the noises my stomach's been making. I'm certain no one wants to hear about your stomach. Well, I guess you got up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Oh, grow up. <laughs> <laughs>
There is a possibility that all of the people around here have been turned into zoonoids, the population completely transformed. As in Takashiro, Balkus's plan. Murakami, Kronos didn't tell me everything. There are many secrets kept hidden, even from me. It's time to tell everything. Everything you know about them. <sighs> All right. But before I begin to talk about Kronos, there are things I must explain first. I have to begin with the inception. Bio booster armor, what a Zonoid is, who created the Giver, Zonoids as well. Where man comes from. Eons ago, a group of aliens came to Earth from outer space. They were the creators. We don't know where they came from or how they looked. Some say that it was groups of different aliens. For the next 250 million years, they controlled the ecosystem on Earth and tried to create the ideal living being. This being was to be highly intelligent, possess strong breeding potential, and be highly adaptable to the environment. Above anything else, it would function as a weapon, as a biologically engineered armament. Through trial and error, a basic model was perfected after millennia of experimentation, a living construct of the creator's skill. That creature, that weapon, still exists. And that creature is man. It's just as it's been said. The history of mankind has been a history of war. Our characteristics, our fighting, and our cruelty are the result of that. Gio said the same thing, that humans were developed as weapons. Everybody's so calm when they're talking about these, these horrible things. Is there something wrong with them? Or maybe it's me. Zonoids were humans which were improved for fighting. Improvement meant adding necessary elements and abilities by causing massive variations at the genetic level in a short period of time. Zonoids were those able to transform into the second phase to alter themselves into highly efficient fighters with tremendous strength. Various different zoonoids were created for different purposes. But man was destined never to be called into the ultimate battle. Suddenly, the creators left Earth, and there's no way to find out what happened to them or where they went. Zonoids which were left eventually intermingled with humans and dominated the bloodline of the species. Their genetic legacy may have been what has caused tales of human-like beasts around the world to continue, even into the modern era. Stop it! <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I... I... Uh, forgive 
me. <laughs> Mizuki! Wait! Oh! Tetsuro, leave this part to him. Has there been any word from Aptum? No, there has been no contact from him since dawn when he reported the Giver's location. What a useless creature. Since the experiments, he has become less and less responsive to my telepathic commands. I cannot monitor his actions using my power. Prototypes 02, 03, and 04 will come into contact with the target shortly, sir. Gaiva 1 cannot fire boost anymore, so Agito is the one who must fight. <laughs> Gaiva 3, today will be the day you are eliminated. The Gyver? So you're saying that the creators also used a bio-boosted armor like the Gyver? Yeah. It seems that the majority of them used it as an integral part of their armament. The bio-boosted armor Giver increases and adjusts its functions and conditions based on the user's characteristics and configuration. If the creators were groups of different aliens, then this armor is a very flexible tool, even though I suspect it was created by genetic manipulation somewhere out in space. One day, the creators became curious about how the unit would respond to the human weapons they had developed. It shocked them. It terrified them. The bio-boosted armor increased in strength perhaps a hundredfold and became a weapon so formidable it could not be defeated. A weapon more dangerous than even they could have imagined possible. More frightening to them was the fact that a bio-boosted human was free of the creator's telepathic command. It possessed the outstanding fighting abilities within itself, and therefore, the human could not control it. It was out of control. The creators called this abnormal product Giver. So the Zonoids, their first spawn, were looked on with favor by the creators. They were their angels, but with them came their demon. Giver, their nemesis. It's them. <gasps> so annoying. Gentlemen, wait, Makashima. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mizuki. Let's go. <laughs> I'm, I'm going home. Aren't we supposed to be normal high school students? I can't believe we're involved in this, this nightmare. I'm going crazy being chased and kidnapped by monsters and you and Agito Makashima changing into creatures. After all, after all, we humans were just created as, as tools for all of us, just weapons, alien weapons for destruction. <laughs> This is my fault. away now. Resort. I can't help it. The Gyver was powerful. The longer this takes, the more it will be to my disadvantage. I must finish them off quickly.
I've had enough. Turn it off. I can't believe he is a Soa Lord. It is impossible that a Soa Lord exists beside the Twelve Supreme Lords. So? Yes? Why are we in this mess? I want to go home. I want to go back. Show. <laughs> back to our old lives. <laughs> uh. Come on, Mizuki. Come on. If I wasn't so involved, we could... <laughs> Don't cry, Mizuki. I'll take care of you. I swear. <laughs> Let's go back now. Back to the others, okay? <laughs> 